Hi, welcome to The Virga Show. I'm Sherry Hansen. Thanks for joining us today. I'm with Kathy Waters. Thank you, Kathy, for joining me. You're I'm welcome. I'm wearing purple in your honor. <laughs> Anybody who knows Kathy <laughs> knows that purple's her favorite color. So That's it great. was so much fun when I got up this morning. It's like, oh, I'm going to see Kathy today. I'm going to wear purple. <laughs> 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 Kathy, you just, you inspire me. Well. You are just an amazing <laughs> woman. And um, we were just talking about that. That um, How long have you lived in Burgess? Um, we've been here, let's see. Christina's 47. We came, she was two years old. Okay, so you've been here 45 years. years and um, Same house. Same house. And so you've been a resident of Vergas that long. Yeah. And there's not many people who live in Vergas who don't know you, Kathy, because you <laughs> worked in many different areas. You And you just, um, I don't know, you just come in contact with Kathy and your day is just brighter. So thank you for that. You're but I welcome. know that you've had some, you've had some trials lately. Yeah, we and, have. And um, I think it's just your attitude and how you have um, approached those has just been an inspiration to me. So I guess what I'd like to do is I'd just like to have you share your story with everyone because okay. it, it's just really inspiring. Well, I had cancer six years ago, and it was in my appendix. Okay. And so they took that out, and I had treatments, and then they sent me down to Mayo Clinic to talk about the stem cell treatment and the doctors down there said that I would probably never get it back and so at that time it was six years ago was, was a very different process than what they do now. And you so know, they, they've really come a long, they long have, ways, haven't yes, they? And for so stem, sure. I mean, stem cell six years ago, people just didn't know what no, it was. Even. You really didn't. Yeah. And so I was delighted. I didn't <laughs> want to do it. Would. And so we came home. And um, then last winter at Christmas time, I got sore throat. And it, I never get sore throat. Oh. I never get sick. No, no, you and don't. And so why? You don't the, take time to get well, sick. <laughs> <laughs> Why the big C word has to come into my life twice, I'm not sure, but anyway. And I told my doctor, I said, you know, I'm just not feeling good. And mm -hmm. I just kept going downhill and downhill and had that awful sore throat. And it wasn't a sore throat that was fun. It was a raging dragon oh. in there. And so I was sent to the ear, nose, and throat, and she said there was nothing the matter with me, and just give me another antibiotic. Mm -hmm. And then I got my teeth got infected, and I had them taken out thinking that was the problem, and it just never went away. And so, so how many then, months did that go on? Five months. Five months? Five but that's months. Oh. And then I went to Dr. Singer, and he found a lump on my side, and and Dr. Singer is a chiropractor, He right? is, yes. <laughs> and he said, there's something going on, Kathy. So went to my cancer. Well, first I had surgery, and they took that lump out, and it mm. was cancer. And which, in the back of my head, I knew it was mm. all along. But you, you just don't want don't to give wanna. in. No, no, you don't. And so um, I went to Fargo and started doing treatments which were so different than last time also because last time I'd go in, have my treatment, stay overnight with Ryan, go back and get shots in the morning, come home and go to work. I never, you yeah, know, never, no, it never was. So this time they'd put me in the hospital and I would stay there like four days and nights, come home the fourth day and get hit really hard. So I did that like three times and then um, Dr. Gupta said, you know, we really need to think about doing a stem cell replacement on you because um, it came back with a vengeance. It was stage four. When you did? This that. last time. And so, so I went down to the cities, mm -hmm. to the U of M, and they said, yep, everything, you know, looked like it would be fine to come down. and." So I came back home and I had one more chemo treatment in Fargo. And when I went back for my um, PET scan and CT scan, they said I was clear and ready to go. Ready to go and at they, that point. Down in the cities, they told me I didn't have to be cancer-free to start this, but it would really be great. 
and so... Well, I've heard you were a star patient down uh, there. <laughs> uh, I had no problems Okay, and whatsoever. so what is the procedure with stem cell well, replacement? Well, I went down and for a week of workout, and they do everything. I mean, I got to watch my little heart just beat in there. I thought, oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's my heart. Yeah. I'd never seen it before. They ran you through every test there was, from breathing to just everything. Okay. And so that was my first week down there, and I lived at Hope Lodge, which is just a godsend to anybody that was in my sh shoes. Mm -hmm. And there were a lot of people. At the end of the day, I still put my shoes back on. <laughs> mm -hmm. And... Uh, just everybody was so good to me, and it didn't make any difference who it was. The drivers that drove the shuttle bus, the people that parked you, no matter what, they were just amazing. Hmm. So Ryan took me down and stayed overnight with me and took me to all my places where I'd have to go because it was mind-boggling. Yes, it yeah. really was. And for somebody like me... Well, we're a small town. <laughs> <laughs> don't go any farther than Fargo. <laughs> so the n next morning, he was going to leave me, and I said... He said, Mommy, you're not going to cry, are you? And I said, Yes, I am, because <laughs> I feel like a little kindergarten that's going to go to kindergarten tomorrow morning, mm -hmm. and I don't know what I'm going to do. And he said... <laughs> Mom, put your big girl panties on and go for it. <laughs> <laughs> and so I did. And uh, it was amazing. I went through that work week and everything went well. And then from there, every day was something new. So, you know, you never knew what was going to happen. I said, now, if I had to do it again, you know, you'd be a little leery, I think. But mm -hmm. I never knew what my day was going to bring. What, so, what it was going to bring for So that. it was always, you know, a surprise. Something new. Mm -hmm. So, um, Kathy, I'd like to get more into, you know, how, what the actual stem cell replacement is and what it does and, you know, um, how, how you got... Um, how, how you got, um, you know, where people actually, you know, let you know on that. And um, I think what we need to do is we need to go into a second show for that. And okay. so um, will we be able to um, talk about it? And, sure. um, and after we're done with this one, we'll okay. get into that and we'll be able to tell a little okay. bit more about that because you had a lot of support from the community. I did. I don't know what I'd have done without my family, my daughter, my son, my granddaughter, her husband. Um, Christina Barton, Ryan Waters, his wife Debbie, Jessica Sonnenberg, and Tyson and Haley, and um, my family, my brothers, my sister-in-laws, everybody just pulled together. And my church family was amazing. And um, it's, it's really incredible when you, you know, it's a is. small town it, it is. is. But, but we're going to talk some more about what that is, and um, you just stay right where you're at. Okay. And you stay where you're at, and we'll be right back with the conclusion of it. And um, thank you for show, joining us on The Virgo Show.